How's it going, Unreal Homies, Homie Tribe? I just realized I've shown you how to set up a new camera as an actor or a pawn, as a controllable pawn, but I haven't actually shown you how to make the controls. So I left you in the dark there. I'm sorry. I'm busy. Okay. I have a lot on my virtual plates. So here's a little slight patch I'm going to add in. It actually shows you how you can move that spring arm with the mouse. So let's uh, code in our own blueprint, our own controls for some mouse control camera movement. So yeah, let's dive right into that one. So I was at the point of showing you making your blueprint master owl. That's going to be your main player one that's going to have this camera movement troll. Showed you the kind of idea behind it, the fact that it's on a spring arm. The spring arm's going to rotate. So let's show you how to actually make that into a control. So I'm just going to reference this one, but I'm going to make a new one. So you should have your master blueprint, but I'll just make a new one. Or let's call this uh, rotation. Let's call this BP underscore rotation, rotation pawn. And let's jump into this blueprint. I'm going to add the component camera. I'm going to add the owl. Owl capture to that camera. Oops, 360. Add a child and need the spring arm. Cool, cool. Set that hierarchy. Yeah, nice. Spring arm length 300 for now looks pretty good. And yeah, so double checking as we rotate that. Camera is attached. Perfect. So all we want to do is in our event graph. We want an event called the mouse mouse Y. Input mouse event mouse Y. And we want to drag off of this and do add controller your input. And we want to set control rotation. Not controller rotation, but pawn and set control rotation. Beauty. Very nice. Nice saying Eric has got no target. We want to get the player controller for the, for the target. Get player controller. Yeah, yeah. So the player controller, the control, the rotation of the controller is going to be set with that. I'm going to hook this axis value up to here. Leave that target as self. And I'm going to split the struct pins here so that we can affect the pitch and the yaw on their own. And we want to, we want a get control rotation, like get rotation sound. And I want to split this as well and chuck these in the respective slots we'll do the same for oh my goodness do beg my pardon let's do mouse x this wants to be the top one so you can control drag these and mouse y is a bit simpler we just do control the pitch basically and on that axis value hooked up again so if our rotation pawn chucked in here and in our world settings, add our default pawn to rotation. Rotation pawn. Uh, on my event begin play, I've got a possess going on here, so let's make that into our rotation pawn. Get a reference to rotation pawn. So, yeah, on begin play, gonna possess that. Should be able to play. Fine. Yeah, nice. I change that auto possess player to player zero. That should let me control it, I think. Ah, yeah. One thing you need to check is click on your spring arm and use pawn control rotation. That's a key thing to check. Okay, so now when you simulate, yeah, we got some, got some mouse X and Y rotation. And yeah, if I swap that out for a cube, you can see that it's rotating around this one point. That's quite nice, the camera, you can make it rotate around your player character or something if you wanted. So yeah, that's how you set up uh, the rotation control. You can look up other tutorials for adding things like zoom in on uh, zoom in on mouse wheel up and down, or you can do like focus pull on mouse wheel up and down. Um, I can drop a, a blueprint example of something that's got this rotation and some zoom in the description and 
yeah, you can just mash controls together and I hope that shows how you can then give, give your camera some live control, live input onto this pawn. Uh, next up we'll show you just setting up the pawn so you can play it straight away and how to do that and catch you in that one. Cheers! Thank you.